Welcome, this is Paula Chafee Scardamelli of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of November 12th. Okay, your theme for the week. Interesting. This showed up last week as well. Um, so, it's still something you need to deal with this week, and that is where is the focus for your creative energy and your work? In, instead of being distracted by all the bright, shiny objects or the projects that seem a little easier, a little faster, a little less angsty, um, really, where it, where's the reward? Where's the sunlight? Where's the energy? Where do you need to put your focus this week? And speaking of focus, your focus for the week is the Knight of Cups. The knight in the tarot or in, in the realm is the one who has the training, the skills, the horse, the equipment, whatever he needs to go out uh, from the, the castle and serve the realm and protect it. Um, in this case, the knight is the knight of cups. So cups is the element of water in the realm of heart, emotions, dreams, intuition, and creativity. You can see that the helmet is kind of plowing through the water here. Of course, cups the element of water. And beneath in the deep are these odd little odd monsters. So your focus this week is on how do you need to get out into the world to serve your creative work in spite of the monsters lurking emotionally. The could be the monsters of self-doubt, could be the monsters of fear of rejection. It could be the monsters of you know, um, I, I, I might fail, whatever it is. How do you get out there in spite of the doubts and the other emotional monsters lurking? And it, so your action this week is to be the King of Cups, where your focus is on how do you serve and protect your creative work. Your action is to be the King. The, again, the King is the one who is the master of the element. He is the one who knows how to lead, um, direct, uh, manage and has the power to do so. Cups being the element of water in the realm of heart, emotions, dreams, intuition, and creativity. And see the seahorses here on either side. He holds the cup and down here is a pool of water. Unlike the knight who's skimming across the water in the, the deeps of the water, this in the king, the water is contained here. He knows how to contain the emotional turmoil. Um, the tr challenge for you is to not be so removed from your emotions that you don't let them influence and direct, help create and inspire your work. And finally, the gift, after you've done the focus and the action, is another king. And this is the king of swords. So once you've given yourself a little emotional perspective and distance and you understand what the work needs and where you're going to direct it, then you receive the gift of the words that empower the work. Here's the king of uh, swords. Swords is the element of air in the realm of mind, thoughts, attitudes, beliefs, and communication. This king is so confident and so empowered, he doesn't have to wave his sword at you. His sword is point down. He uses it only when necessary, but he's in this elevated position. So this is really really a gift of insight, perspective, mental clarity, and acuity that allows you to communicate well about your work. So as we look at the story for the week, we start off with the Seven of Cups um, as the theme. Again, where do you need to put your focus? Um, even in the midst of a project that might seem a little challenging and you'd rather go work on something else, you know, that seems a little brighter, a little easier, Keep your focus on where the work needs to go to reap the reward for the project. Then be the knight, be the champion for that work. Be willing to don your armor and get out there to serve and protect your creative work in spite of the emotional monsters that might lurk beneath. Then take action as the king of cups. You know, really give yourself the emotional distance and perspective you need to see what that creative project needs. And then finally, when you do that, you, you become the king of swords. You receive the gift of swords, that clarity of mind and thought and communication. You might even find that someone enters your circle this week who wants to communicate about your work for you. And this is Paula Chafee Scardamelli of DivinningTheMuse.com wishing you divine musings.